Hey, y'all, look here. CB here at NBS Welding. I want to give you an idea on a uh, little welding project you might do goofing around and some uh, materials that you might keep your eyes out for uh, when you're out in the world that you might want to keep that you may normally scrap. And uh, the reason I say this is I've, I've had uh, quite a bit of, of scenarios where I had a shovel that was either ha either had a wooden or a fiberglass handle in it and, and the, the shovel broke. Uh, there are a lot of different grades of digging shovels. You know, there's you can pay a whole bunch of money for them or you can pay almost nothing. Uh, I have to tell you that the best shovels that I ever had are made the way I'm going to show you here. And generally, this is stuff that if you keep your keep one eye on the ground, you're gonna you're gonna be able to come up with this stuff for almost nothing. So let's take a look here. What I got? This is uh, this is a shovel head from a broken shovel. This this particular one had a fiberglass uh, handle in it. So there was a, a galvanized steel sleeve right here, and the fiberglass handle slid inside of here. There was a rivet that I had to uh, grind the head off of and pop out with a punch. I took a cutting wheel and I slit some of the fiberglass right here to make it a little easier to get it out, and I got it apart. What I've got right here is a tent pole. This is like a tent pole from a canopy. These are the kind of canopies that uh, they're mass produced. I think this white is actually powder coated on here. This white paint is on there pretty good. This is from the type of like a, uh, a like a temporary carport type of canopy or these canopies like you might see them set up at a fair. Or, you know, uh, I've got a lot of these that I used camping and the tarps go bad and then you end up with all these poles. And uh, this particular size, I'm not, I'm not sure uh, why it works so good. These are really thin but the outside diameter is right and the weight is perfect. Now, this is a different piece of tent pole from a different kind of canopy. This has been cut. Um, this is just a short piece of it. But let me just show you, this is amazing how this stuff fits together. So this is the tapered part of the tent pole that normally goes into another tent pole. And it goes right into there. Now I would hammer that in there all the way. Before I do that, I'll sand that uh, paint off of there and around right here where I'm gonna weld it. So that's one thing I gotta do. Now when we look at the other end of this, this is a little thin to be exposed. If you were to drop this, uh harsh on the on the end right here it's probably gonna knock the end of this oval and like i said this is a thicker one that's smaller diameter a different kind of a canopy pole but it's one of them that you find they're actually probably metric truth be known but look at this see that that can be used out here on the end to double thick this end and the more of it you would slide inside of here, the stiffer you're gonna make your shovel handle. So, you know, you could make this longer or shorter. If you have one of these that's a whole piece, you know, you could shove it clear down in there and make a stronger handle. Obviously, it'll be heavier. So here for, for my use on this one, I feel like this piece is about twice as long as it needs to be. So I'm going to throw it in the 872 saw and uh, I'm just going to cut it in half and save that other piece and that way uh, I'll have another one if I get a, another opportunity to, to make a handle for something else and yeah, that's very possible because even if you have a shovel I've also done this for rakes, hoe, you know, other tools so if you get some of these tent poles or if you see any anywhere that look like they're this diameter uh, like you would have on a uh, on a shovel handle or a rake handle or a hoe handle 
you want you want to grab them up and hang on to them. So if you can get that stuff for free, that's something that's worth a try right there. And like I said, I, I have broke a lot of wooden handle and fiberglass handles on shovels, and I've never broke one of these steel ones. Uh, it really makes me wonder why you don't see shovels being sold with steel handles, but you don't. If you want one, uh, you know, I think you got to do it yourself, and that's what we did here. So if you can get that stuff for free and, and make you one... I think it'd be a good shovel for you.